Welcome back. We are storage chasers and we have won another unit. Yes, we are at the facility now. It's an indoor unit, not climate controlled. Kind of hurts. Uh, this particular one was one on storagetreasures.com. This one was at a life storage on Two Notch Road. We won this one for a 60 bucks. This is a, a little 10 by 10 unit, 60 bucks out the door. Got this one on uh, Two Notch Road, life storage facility. And the pictures are whammo. Yep, there's a big old bicycle. That's why we bid on this particular one. The uh, bicycle in the unit, we looked it up and they can go for like $400, $500 new. So we figured we can make our money back on that. Uh, but this just, you know, didn't look like it was a really lot of stuff in there, but it is a 10 by 10. So we got that, the bicycle, some other stuff, some other stuff, some other stuff. That's the pictures. Here is the live, the live and in color. Uh, there's the bicycle. Looks like it's in fairly decent shape. There's a little table, the nightstand. Oh, oof. There is a sofa. There is a sofa. There is a love seat. There are a bunch of cushions. That's not looking good. Oh, no, there is a laundry machine. Looks like maybe a washing machine. Whoo, this is going to be a lot more work than we anticipated for the size of unit that it is, which is only 10 by 10. There's a lot of stuff packed in here. Well, hopefully we can get it in our trailer because we've already got two units worth of stuff in there. And uh, if not, we'll have to make a second trip out here. But uh, we will see you when we are done cleaning this one out. Okay, unit 189, cleaned out. Whew. Wall to wall to wall to door. Yeah, we did not believe we were gonna be able to get it all in there, but we did it. And uh, go out here and check outside so you can see it all. It is all in there. So we're done with that. I'm gonna go get our, uh, whew, our deposit back on this one. I gotta get pictures of it, take to the office. And we'll get our deposit back and then uh, head back to our home base operations. So we will see you when we get there. Welcome back to our home base of operations. Yes, we have gotten uh, one of the three units out of the trailer already. And we're going to be going through that. Uh, we are outside as usual. And the weather looks like it wants to open up and rain on us again. We get a little bit of sun and we get a little bit of clouds. And that's uh, pretty decent. Also, the Air Force is out in force right now, flying their jets around, so you may hear that in the background. Uh, we don't mind that because they're protecting us. Anyway, for this unit here, all right, we got these four chairs here. Uh, they got pretty much a lot of damage on them. They got some stains on them. Uh, we had a customer that uh, purchased some other items from us that had mentioned needing some chairs, so we were just going to give her these if she wanted to paint them reupholster them whatever that would be on her but uh she didn't contact us back yet uh on some other things she wanted to purchase so when she does if we still have these then uh yeah we'll just give these to her if she wants them if not they're going to the dump uh next item we got was this beautiful high efficiency sentinel 10 year limited parts warranty maytag washer Woo. uh the inside does not look bad the outside you know it's got some some bumps and bruises it looks a little bit old. yeah we'll uh we'll clean her up the best we can and uh, test her up see how she's doing and uh you know we'll list her for 150 200 bucks uh, all this stuff is other units and other stuff next thing we got this sofa and love seat sofa love seat uh this one here has some damage on the corner here, which we're going to try and repair. And uh, we have the cushions. The cushions are up there. They look fairly decent, but we can unzip those and actually wash those if we want. These will have to like uh, stain treat if we wanted to try that. Uh, the wifey thinks that uh, this is a savable pieces. I'm not really thrilled with that. But we have, like I said, we have the love seat here. This has uh, a lot of stitching that has to be done all along here. To restitch this cushion section back onto here. Uh, again, it says it's possible. I don't know. It's a better, better looking than some of the other couches that we have for sale. These ones here, 
we just have outside of the trailer right now uh but yeah we got these there was a second sofa and love seat that was in this particular unit it was a, like a really ugly lime green it was stained and we dumped it on the way home we had it actually in the back of the truck instead of the trailer because we had so much stuff uh, we took that directly to the dump we also took a uh, a nightstand so if you saw the nightstand in the video at the beginning uh, with the broken handle on the bottom drawer we checked that too uh, we did however keep this this is a nice little end table got that little rustic -y look right now it could be, be a really good paint project uh, also have some uh, fabuloso that was in the unit put that up here but uh, yeah this is not too bad it's a pretty good quality looks like it's all real wood in there so that should be a good selling point uh, I might be able to tighten up a few areas on it but uh, yeah a lot of people actually like the rustic look that it is already other people are like yeah I want to paint it all black and match my furniture well whatever you want we're gonna have it and we'll probably list it for 60 to 80 bucks hopefully somebody will want that next all right we've got this brand new four foot pre-lit silver tinsel tree in the box yeah originally 18 dollars which means uh we try to get 10 dollars at the uh, flea market around christmas time for right now it'll uh be added to our christmas items that we have and we put those in a separate section until like october november area and then we start taking those to the flea market it does have a damage right here don't know if you can see it but it's got there and it's got cracking going up so i'm pretty sure this is not going to work but this one here is whatever it says there on that plate and then and then 30 30 something 39 inch i think it says so yeah if it works which i highly doubt having something impacted it right there then that'll be you know 40 to 60 bucks this one was a uniquer item. This is an HP uh, TV. This is a plasma TV, which means this is heavy. <laughs> That's what it means. If you ever had to carry a, a plasma TV around, it's heavy. Uh, this one is a 50 inch, I'm guessing, because the HP PL5072N 50 inch plasma. That's what it says. It's an HD TV. So high def tv stuff it's got all that stuff there we're hoping this one will work i don't know if people are into plasma still but being it's an hp and stuff i don't know maybe it'll make a good monitor big old 50 inch monitor <laughs> that would be pretty big but i'm hoping that one will work maybe it'll it'll help with the profits on the unit uh next we got this breezer uh girls bike it looks to be in okay shape uh, new I was looking online they were going for like 400 and some odd dollars so I figured uh, when we were bidding on the unit the, the unit cost us 60 bucks we figured okay we could probably sell this for at least a hundred uh, the only thing I can see so far that needs to be adjusted is the uh, the brake caliper part up here needs to be fixed everything else seems good the tires even have some air in them uh, seems like it's a good quality bike I hadn't heard of the name until I looked it up but uh, yeah we're gonna check that out probably needs a better seat i mean that looks like an old school <laughs> bicycle seat yeah not judging but that's what we got uh next we'll go through some of the smaller things over here real quick uh we found uh we found this tv stand here i just slid glasses in there and uh it looks like that's what it is uh we don't normally get a whole bunch for tv stands and stuff especially ones that don't have the little rubber bumper bumpies on there to hold the glass off of the metal so yeah maybe 30 40 bucks at the most on that that's particular size probably 20 bucks maybe 25 we get the right person normally not but yeah that's what we got for that uh, i got a cool folding chair here uh plasticky kind of a beach chair and that's not opening up for some reason so that's not gonna be good there ain't gonna be good for nobody yeah anyway i got that chair uh we got a suitcase here it's a four-way roller which is good for a resale value um i think we actually put stuff in this in from the unit so that we could get it 
home. And of course the uh, zipper doesn't want to work with that hand. So, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, I know more clothes, right, people? But um, this probably goes with the uh, with the the vacuum. -y. We get a little bit of clothes, not a lot, just this little bit right here, and a couple of fuzzy blankies. That'll be cool. Our dog will probably be on that in a minute. Here's another thin blanket here. It says Alabama. Good dog blanket there too. Not that I'm making fun of Alabama. I'm just saying the good sizes for dog blankets. Although they probably suck too. Uh, these are just some joggers, some pants, some pants. There's a wreath. Um, could be part of Christmas decorations. Could be just an anytime decoration, especially since it's red and black. Kind of cool. We do decorate our house and that kind of stuff. That's cool. Here is a, I thought it was a candy dish, but it's got a hole in the bottom. So the candy would leak out. So this is one of those candle bases. We had another one like this before that was, uh, looked like a palm tree. And I think this is the same sort of thing. So if I could find the base for that in, in this unit, that would be really cool. So I'm going to be on the lookout for that. In the meantime, we've got yeah we got some of that and uh we got uh here we go we got some black extreme preferred oh got the lid of the boxes over here so black extreme well that's what it is so yeah we got some got some perfumies some smellies and uh more pants and oh, here's a book kind of a book got some more stuff oh here's a here's a sony something controller for something dual shock three probably not in the best of shape we'll check it out nothing in there got some junk trash yeah, anybody that gets suitcases you gotta un actually unzip some of these sometimes people hide stuff in there and put stuff in there and they forget that they put it in there so unzip unzip the liners and check in there check all these inner pack inner pockets outer pockets check all the zippers make sure they work and uh this one had a little kink in it over here before. Now it seems to be doing okay. Uh, yeah, we'll check it out a little bit better. But yeah, uh, being that it's a four-way roller, we might be able to get, you know, 15, 20 bucks for that flea market. It's a concourse one. Doesn't, doesn't seem that bad. Somebody gonna need it. All right, what do we got? Well, here we got a fan that was taped together. Uh, some people don't care, and they will... doesn't have a face on it either. Somebody stole its face! But, uh... Yeah, if it works, somebody may actually buy it, but the legs are bent. I mean, this one's going to take a lot of repairs. Which, you know, we most of the time don't want to really get into. Oh, I see the fan. There's a fan face over there. Anyway, we'll get to it. <laughs> but I digress. Alright, box number one of, like, four here. Um... This is, uh, oh, this is cool. This is one of them shower, uh, bathtub shower mat things. That's kind of cool. Somebody will need that. There's, uh, you know, some trash and, oh, there's some food. Mmm, large elbow macaronis. Got some, got some more spices happening in here. There's some Weber Chicago steak seasoning. Mmm, -mm, good. Not really. All right. Uh, educating everyone. Bus drivers, age parents, da, 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 da. kind of cool cup. Maybe somebody will want that, especially if they're a teacher or educator. Uh, HDMI cables. We keep all those because it goes to something, and I'll need it. All right, these are probably gonna go with the laundry machine. Okay, it's in that direction. <laughs> so yeah, and yeah, and so that was kind of cool. We'll go through the next one. Maybe not. Okay, we've got pots and pans, calendar, some lids for the pots and pans. A couple of the pots and pans maybe be resellable if we tighten them up. There are some heavy duty 3M masks. Uh, we're not currently wearing masks in our state. I don't know if that's still a thing when you're watching this video. We were filming this video at the end of the coronavirus stuff. So, yeah, most places we had to wear masks. Not seeing anything jumping out at me is super cool. Although the roasting pan will probably be 
That'll be a keeper, a keeper seller thing. Uh, the green pot here with pipe hand stuck to the bottom of it. We can clean it up. Maybe somebody will want that because it matches their kitchen green stuff. Yeah, that's the only way I can think of that. Oh, got an ironing board here. Got a folding card table with a couple of chips out of it. Mm. Uh, we got this little table here. Anything in the box? Nothing's in the box. And it had a glass top on it. Don't know if it came on it that way. It just has a piece of glass on it right now. What's in this one? Uh, looks like more cleaning stuff. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, there's a Comet and Ajax and and stuff. And oh, screwdriver. We got tools. That's always a good thing. It's a plus. A couple of coffee cups. Trying to see if it's uh, anything particularly interesting. And uh, no, some kind of medical drug company pushing their products through a coffee mug and uh yeah something like that too do have a cool blue tote <laughs> i guess that's cool what's over in this one here we got uh it's a fishy shower curtain and liner not just the shower curtain it has the liner voila uh we got some paper towels got the face for the fan we've got some rags we got some purple hangers we like our purple hangers got one glove um it says something on it ironclad it'd be better if both of them were in here i don't see them darn because they are new uh yeah something good there um this is going to be the last thing i believe from this unit yeah Save the best for last, right? We got a, a white mirror, and uh, we had stuff look like video games and stuff in here, so I wanted to look at this one last just in case. But of course, they all look like they're empty. Ooh. But we got PS3 boxes, and uh, here's a PS3 box. This has the book in it, so if I have to find the game, then we're good. And there's nothing in there, and there's nothing in there. This is Spy Kids. The movies will probably be in there, right? Nope. Even the movies are not in there. Ah, we got robbed. Everything. All right, this one's empty. There's another PS3. Okay, the booklet's in there and the case. Okay. Oh, God of War. That's, uh, I see that right here, actually. So. Eh. It's seen better days. But it's complete. <laughs> That's a plus. This one here, scratched up the snot, don't know. Don't know. So, put the boardy thingy. Let's see if it's got anything in it. Uh, yeah, nothing really cool, but yeah. Oh, here's another game. Uh, did I see this in a box? The Batman's PS3. Hit, what was this one? Grand Theft. No, that's uh, something else. So, now I got games with no boxes. All right, sorry about that. Camera overheated, had to stop. But yeah, we're back into it really quick. Uh, what's left in here, we got some change, a skateboard wrench, a remote for some RCA thing, which is not one of the TVs, I don't think. Yeah, there's that. There's a plug for something unimportant, some toothpaste, HDMI cable. Nothing super exciting left in there. And that was not the last one. I was mistaken because I have this one hiding over here that has some stuff in it that we'll go through right now. And it's got a Vidal Sassolini uh, blow dryer. We've got a couple. we got an extension cord. Yeah, big yellow extension cords. We can sell for like five, ten bucks. Here was an award. It is an iron to go with our iron and board right there so we got a pair um, empty bottle of smelly stuff another pour up pot some people like these though I don't know um, it doesn't look good to me got a little toaster in there we got a can opener black and bakery one here those are not plastic oops sorry these are glass cups <laughs> Thought they were. There's some glass, glass, 
ceramic y yeah whatever that is i don't want to break it anymore um yeah cars stuff little sippy cup these glasses are kind of cool maybe we'll try to sell those we don't really sell too much like it. and then down the very bottom we've got utensils there's a utensil tray at the very bottom like trays with some utensils in them and they're just thrown in the bottom they're trays like like this and they're just thrown in there and yeah and you can see this utensil and that will do it for this one so whoo you saw the pile of stuff we got like i said we only paid 60 bucks for this and uh, we do have the uh, laundry machine over here vacuum suitcase stuff yeah the bicycle we're gonna try and get 100 bucks for maybe more you never know uh tvs will test but i'm pretty sure like i said this one doesn't work we don't count tvs when we uh see them in units because nine times out of ten they do not work so we don't even calculate a, a value when we're assessing the value that we're willing to bid on the unit so for these even if we would have saw them which we didn't see them in the pictures we wouldn't have uh, counted these for any money so that's the way you got to do it sometimes and then if you do make money it's minimal anyway so yeah you gotta play it by ear uh christmas tree will be okay uh like i said around christmas time the fan probably not gonna sell for much maybe we could get five bucks for it if i can fix it up it's looking pretty pretty flimsy and broke though pretty trash it and uh the coffee table that is really cool the uh sofa and love seat which we're trying to repair uh, the wifey's in the process of doing that. You can see this corner's already repaired, kind of, sort of. Um, I think there's another rip on this side over here that we'll have to tighten up. But then you can see there's minor staining, but this is all on the underside of it. And then we have, you know, you got the cushions up here. So, and those can be unzipped. And then this, which we didn't even see in the unit until we physically got there. So this alone could pay for the unit. Uh, if we wanted to charge somebody for chairs, we could make the money back on the unit for that. I mean, 60 bucks for four chairs is probably good. I mean, I, if I had the time, sand them all down, spray paint them all black, put some new material, just staple it to the bottom of these things. It's really a piece of cake. It's just time consuming. And I've got too many other side projects to do right now that I can't take on that one as well. <laughs> but, yeah, we got a pile to go through now. And then uh, we're going to start filming video for the uh, second unit and then that'll take care of that so hopefully you uh enjoyed the video one that's always important secondly please like share subscribe comment all of that good stuff because we are trying to get to uh 200 total subscribers for by the end of this year so we've got a few months to go and i think we only need like 30 or something so tell your friends you know click on the button and then unclick on if you want whatever but just so we can get up to 200 just want to set a goal and try to make a goal and uh yeah Hopefully you enjoy uh, your guys' day. We are definitely going to enjoy ours because we, we love it out here. Uh, but whew, we're going to get back to work and we got a lot of cleaning up to do. Uh, but as always, we will talk to you later.